Welcome everybody. Uh, lower school students, y'all did a great job singing Christmas carols a minute ago. That was outstanding. Way to go. For those of you who don't know, and for the middle school and upper school students, most of you already know this, but I love Christmas. It's my favorite season of the year. Y'all too? Yes, me too. I love Christmas. I love it because of the decorations. I love it because of the presents. I love it because of Santa. I love it because of the music. And y'all are going to get to hear the music later on today. Uh, as all the upper school and middle school students know, my music selections. I love it for the parties. I love it for the elf on the shelf. I love it for the trees. And I love it, of course, for the hot cocoa. But, but, shh, but, but, the real reason that I love Christmas is because of the season that it represents. It is the season that we celebrate the, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is a time for all of our students and all of our, our, our students that, that engage in different acts of charity and service with the Salvation Army, with the Jackson Free Clinic, with our friends at Mustard Seed. Uh, I love this, the, the spirit of Christmas and celebrating the, the, the birth of our Lord. Now, the Christmas tree and the lighting of the Christmas tree is very special to me. Now, there's a lot of different ways that people say the Christmas tree came to be. There's a lot of different stories about that. The one that I like the most is about the Protestant reformer, a, guy, a man named Martin Luther. One day, he was, he was thinking about preaching at the Christmas season, and he was walking home, and he saw the stars going through a tree. And he went home and he hung lights in his tree, and the lights are there to signify the light of Christ in the world. And that's the tradition of the Christmas tree. And that's why we light the Christmas tree to remind us of Christ's light in our lives. And I think given that, as we, before we light the tree, uh, it's great to, rem to read the Christmas story and remind ourselves of why we celebrate the Christmas season. And this is taken from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. And it came to pass in those day, days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered, and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over the flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring to you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, laying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told to them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds return, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told to them. Again, Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. And so I hope that everyone enjoys the fun of Christmas and the celebration that goes with it, that we always stay mindful of the light of Christ and the Lord, which is signified by the lighting of the Christmas tree. Good morning. Yep. Oh!